Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. Today we'll do, we'll continue with our series on the average questions. In the first part, if you recall, this is the second second of the third video. In the first one, we did problem number one through ten. Today we'll do eleven and twelve. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard dealing with the notion of average. Let's take a look at it. After we have read the problem, pause the video, do the problem yourself as always, and then compare your work with the work that we'll do together in a few seconds time, as always, as I said. Here we go. It says the average score, the average score, this is how I abbreviate average, A-V-E, average score for boys was 25 on the exam. Average score for girls, we are told, was 35 on the given exam. We are further told that there are more than twice as many boys, there are more than twice as many boys as there are girls in the class. So for, say for example, if there are three girls, the number of boys cannot be five because five is not twice as more. Number of boys cannot be six because six is exactly twice as more. We are told that there are more than twice as many boys as there are girls. So if there are three girls, there, are, there would have to be a minimum of seven boys because there are more than twice as many boys as there are girls in the class. The question simply is, here is the question, which of the following, which of the following could be, which of the following could be the overall average on this exam, where the boys average 25, girls average 35, and there are more than twice as many boys as there are girls in the class. Which of the following could be the overall average score? Pick one or more. There might be more than one right answer. Here are the answer choices, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, and 36. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself. All right, here we go. The first thing we need to understand is that, here's the solution. First thing we need to understand is that here we have boys, here we have girls, and boys we are told score on average 25 points. Girls on average we are told score 35 points. Okay, keep listening. Let's pretend that let's pretend that there are one million boys. Let's pretend that there are one million boys and only one girl. Only one girl. Because there are one million boys in the class and only one girl, even though she scored 35, boys since they since on average boys are scoring 25 points, they can they're pulling the average down. Because if there were one boy and one girl, the average would have been right in the middle. The average would have been 30 if there were equal number of boys and girls. But because there are a million boys, the average is going to be very, very close to 25. Very close to 25 because they are all pulling the average down. Had, that been the, had it been the other way around, if you had one million girls and a one boy, even though he's scoring only 25 points, but it's not going to have much impact on the average score of the girl. The overall average can be very close to 35. The point we have to understand is that the range for the average in this scenario, the range for the average in this scenario is from 25 to 35. Regardless of how many more boys there are in the class, even though boys are pulling the average down, the average cannot fall below 25. Average cannot fall below 25. The average even cannot be 25. The only way average can be 25 if there are no girls. If the girls are, if there's zero girls, zero girls scoring 35 points would be silly. All boys and the average score is 25, that's the only way. As long as there is one boy, as long as there is only one, as long as even if there is only one girl, she's going to pull the average up a little bit. It cannot even be 25. The average has to be between 25 and 35. Any answer choice that falls outside the range cannot be right answer. Answer cannot be 24. It's too low. It's outside the range. It cannot be 36. It's too high. Outside the range. Now let's begin. Let's begin by pretending that there are in fact exactly twice as many boys. We're going to pretend. Why pretend? Because we are told that there are more than twice as many. So we're going to pretend that there are exactly twice as many for the time being to look at a simpler scenario. What would happen if there were in fact exactly twice as many boys? And as a matter of fact, to make the scenario even simpler, let's pretend that there are only three kids in the class. Let's, let's continue on the top. 
So if there were three kids in the class, if there were three kids in the class, two boys, two boys and one girl, what would have been the overall average in this scenario? Let's find out, shall we? We know the boys score on average 25 points, so they earn 50 points. We know the girls on, on average score 35 points, so this one girl earned 35 points. 25 times 2 is 50, 50 plus 35 is 85, 85 divided by 3 because I had 3 kids. 85 divided by 3 is going to be the overall average. Let's find out what that is. 85 divided by 3. Let's find out what that is. 85 divided by 3 would, be, would have been would have been the overall average for the class if there were in fact exactly twice as many boys as there are girls. It doesn't matter how many girls there are, it doesn't have to be one. Instead of one girl, had there been 10 girls, there would have been 20 boys. Instead of one girl, if there had been 7 girls, there would have been 14 boys and so on and so forth. Let's find out what that is. In this scenario, how many, how many trees does 8 have? 8 has, eight has 2 trees. 2 trees are 6. 2 trees are 6. After we take away 6 from the 8, we have a remainder of 2. 2 goes and joins the 5s and becomes 25. And 25 has, how many trees does 25 have? I was going to say 6, but 6 trees are 18. 25 has 8 trees. 8 trees are 24. 8 3 is at 24. After we take away 24 from the 25, we have a remainder of 1, and that 1 needs to be divided by 3. So, so, the, so the answer is, in this scenario, if there, are exactly, if there are exactly twice as many boys, then in this scenario, the average would be 28 and a one third. Okay? But we know, we know that there are more than twice as many boys. So as long as, as, there is, as long as even if there is only one more boys than exactly twice as many, the overall average is going to be more, our overall average is going to be pulled down and our overall average is going to be less than 28 and one third. Because there are more than twice as many boys, the overall average has to be below 28 and a third. Which means this answer is wrong. Answer cannot be D. I'm doing it with a different way so that we can see that this is a different reason than that reason. That was a different reason. Answer cannot be E. Answer cannot be F. So the question question here was which of the following could be which of the following could be the overall average? The answer is the overall average can be 26 and it can be 28. That's it. That's your answer. You're done. Question was which of the following could be the overall average? The answer is in this scenario the overall average for the class could be 26 or it could be 28. Now let's move on to second problem. Second problem is in fact the continuation of this problem. In the next problem, problem number 12, we're going to continue with this, and here's the question. Question number 12. Question is, what needs to be, what needs to be the exact ratio of boys to girls in this class that we're describing where you just took the exam in order in order for the overall average to be a 26 because we're claiming that it can be 26 don't, don't, this a has nothing to do with this b here let's set up a let's put down Part 1, 26, or part 2, what needs to be the exact ratio of boys to girls in this class in order for the overall average to be 28? Because that's what we are claiming. We are claiming that the overall average can be 26 exactly or it can be exactly 28. The question is, what would the ratio have to be of boys to girls in this class in order for our claims to be true? Let's find out, shall we? Very simple, very straightforward situation. In other, in other words, what we have to figure out is the weights. What is the weight that we assign? We're going to take the weighted average. What weight do we assign? Boys, we know on average score 25. Let's give them a weight of 1. And the girls on average scores 35. And let's pretend there is one girl. And we're going to solve for W. W is going to be the relative weight. Listen very carefully. W is going to be the relative weight for each one girl. So after we do all the work, after we do all the work and it turns out that W happens to be say 9 13 that, that would tell you that there would have to be 9 boys for every 13 girls 
there will have to be every 9 boys for every 13 girls, which we know will never happen in this scenario, because we know it has to be more than twice as many. It cannot even be 19. 19 is not more than twice as many. It can be 199, because 199 is more than twice as, more than 2 times 13, but it cannot be 19 over 13, because the problem tells us that it's more, we have more than twice as many boys. We want to find out what that ratio is here. Continue. Let's continue, okay? So we have W boys, we have W boys for every one girl. W is the weight. I'm using W for the weight because this is weighted average. The concept is called the weighted average. So how many total kids do we have here? Well, we have W boys for every one girl. And we are claiming that in this scenario, if we have this weighted average, or we have W boys for every one girl, then we are claiming that the overall average would be 26, 26 point, right here, 26 point. And then we'll do 28. Let's continue on the top. It's very, very simple now. Now that we understand what to do, it's very simple. We can solve this equation for W. Cross multiply and we're going to end up with 25W plus 35 would have to equal 26 times 26 times W plus 1. Just bring W plus 1 to the other side. 26 times W is 26W and 26 times 1 is 26. And here we have 25W. The rest is very, very simple. Subtract 25W from each side and we'll find that W equals 25 minus 26, which is how much is 35 minus 26? How much is I think it's 9. That's it. That's th there you go. There's your answer. We're claiming that there would have to be, there would have to be 9 boys for every one girl in this class for every one girl, not girls, for every one girl in order for overall average in this scenario to be exactly 26. And we can verify it very quickly. It's, it's very simple. We can verify it. We can verify it. I'm not writing everything down out of laziness, out of sheer laziness, but this is what it says here. This is what it says that there would have to be there would have to be exactly nine boys. There would have to be exactly nine boys for every one girl in order for our old average to be 26. That's the part I did not write here. In order, in order for overall average to be 26. And we can verify it. Very simple verification. Let's verify it. So if we have nine boys, if we have nine boys and they scored on average 25 points, the total, the total points earned by the boys would be 9 times 25. And for every one girl, so every one girl, and that she scored 35 points. And since we have 9 boys for every one girl, so we have a total of 10, 10 kids. 9 times 25 is how much? I don't know. I know 10 times 25. 10 times 25 is 250. If 10 times 25 is 250, then it stands to reason that 9 times 25 must be 25 less than 250, which is 225. 225 plus 25 would have been 250 again, back to 250, and then instead of 25, we have 35, so it's 210. 200, I made a mistake here. Which two, 9 times 25 would be 225, 225 plus 25 is 250, 250 plus 10 would be 260. 260, of course it would be 260 because we are claiming that the overall average is 26. There you go. Now you find out you find out yourself what the ratio would have to be in order for it to be 28. This one right here. You can do it yourself. It's the same exact procedure. Let's do it on the, on the top if you like. So now Again, the average for the boys is 25, and use a let's use a different different. Uh, or we can use the same symbol; doesn't matter. That's the weighted average for for the boys, and we have one girl, and she scores 35, and so we have W plus one boy, W boys. We have W boys for every one girl, and now we want it to be 28. Same as before; nothing has changed. Exact same thing. Nothing novel. Nothing new. Very simple pro process. Same as before. Let's solve it, shall we? So we're going to get 25W plus 35 equals 28W plus 28. That's the 35. 
So 25 and 28, that's a 3W. Bring 28 to this side. 35 minus 28, 35 minus 30, 35 minus 30 would have been exactly 5, so it's going to be 7. But well, there you go. So in this case, we are claiming that the, the weight has to be 7 to 3. 7 to 3. So what we are claiming here, what this tells us is that there would have to be, there would have to be 7 boys for every 3 girls in order for overall average to be exactly 28 given the scenario that the boys on average scored 25 points and girls on average scored 35 points. If that's the case, if the average score of the boys is 25 and the average score of the girl is 35, then it is possible for overall score in the class to be exactly 28 as long as we have 7 boys for every 3 girls. That has to be, that has to be the precise ratio. But notice there are in fact more than twice as many boys as girls. 6 would have been exactly twice as many. There are more than twice as many boys. And again, if you like, we can verify this thing. It only takes a few seconds for verification. Where can we verify it? Obviously, we need the room. We have to erase something. Why don't we verify it here? We don't need any of this business now. Let's, let's verify it here. So, seven boys. Seven boys, each scoring... Well, not each scoring 25 points, but on average they score 25. So we could pretend that each one of them scored 25 and therefore their total would be 7 times 25. Or their average is 25, in which case we multiply their average by 7 and that will give us the total score earned by the boys. And we have 3 girls. We'll have 3 girls and they scored on average 35 points. So that's going to be 3 times 35 is the number of points that the girls earn. So how many kids do we have? Well, we have seven boys and three girls seven boys and three girls seven boys and three girls seven times 25 eight times 25 is 200 so it's 175 plus three times 35 let's find out what three times 35 is shall we let's find out what three times 35 is we're going to take our time three times 30 is 90 and three times five is 15 so it's 90 plus 15. 3 times 35 is 90 plus 15 or 105. Over 7 plus 3 which is 10. 175 plus 105. 75 plus 5 is 80. So we have 280 over 10. And what do you know? The overall score is in fact, does in fact turn out to be precisely 28 point when the boys score 25 points and the girls score 35 points provided there are three boys exactly for every provided that there are seven boys exactly for every three girls. Bye now.